Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Trumponomics feds just made history in tax collection. Here are the numbers. The economy is surging, unemployment's near a 45-year low, wages are up by nearly 3 percent, and the federal government is enjoying the fruits of all that Trump boom labor. According to the monthly Treasury statement released this week, the federal government just raked in more in taxes in the first four months of the fiscal year than any other year, broke the January record for tax collection, and ran a surplus for the first time in months. In the month of January, which reflects some of the changes from the GOP's $1.5 trillion tax cut bill, the U.S. Department of the Treasury collected just over $361 billion, approximately $361 billion $38 million, in total tax revenues, a record for the month of January. While the Feds collected $361 billion, they managed to spend about $49 billion less. $312 billion, approximately $311 billion $802 million. That $49 billion surplus helped chip away at the deficit from the previous months of fiscal year 2018, which now stands at almost $176 billion, $175 billion $718 million, for this fiscal year. The Internal Revenue Service, IRS, announced on Tuesday that it intends to eliminate 298 tax regulations that it has deemed unnecessary in an effort to meet President Donald Trump's demand to reduce the regulatory burden. The action by the IRS follows a pair of executive orders issued by Trump last year. One directed each government agency to conduct a review of existing regulations, while another instructed the IRS to simplify the tax code through deregulation. The regulations the IRS has identified for removal have no current or future applicability and, therefore, no longer provide useful guidance, the agency said. The rules either apply to the old tax code, to provisions that have been significantly revised or are just no longer relevant. Some of the laws identified for removal have been outdated for decades. If first-quarter tax revenues are any indication, Trumponomics is operating much like Reaganomics and producing the same kind of results, lower taxes and deregulation resulting in more economic growth and, thus, more tax revenues. In the first quarter after the Republican passed, Donald Trump signed reform bill, which will save taxpayers and corporations $1.5 trillion in taxes over 10 years, tax revenues actually increased by $18 billion, 5.2% over the previous year, resulting in the government running a $51 billion surplus. The CBO notes that not all employee tax withholdings have been updated under the new policies, companies have until mid-February to do so. However, as Investors Bureau Daily underscores, the CBO's numbers suggest that gains in wages and salaries are likely to continue and even accelerate due to the tax cuts. The increase in tax revenues corresponds with the positive economic news of the last few months. Trump's aggressive approach to slashing regulations, more aggressive, in fact, in than Reagan so far, appears to be paying dividends. The Atlanta Fed's recent forecast for the first quarter of 2018 indicates a dramatic increase in GDP of an estimated 5.4 percent. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.